you're going to get yourself three tools before you start really digging into this course. You're going to have your tuner, your timer, and your metronome. Welcome to the Adult Group Guitar Class. Uh, my name is Steven Selman. I'm with the Brooklyn Music Factory. Um, this class is designed for uh, either the complete beginner, you've never picked up a guitar before and you want to get started, or uh, maybe you've dabbled a little bit but you're ready to um, seriously take your skills up another notch. So in this class, the idea is that once a week, you learn a brand new song. So every week, if you're following along, you're learning a new song every week and you're singing and playing and we're putting these two together. So it's a lot to take on, but you got this. First though, we're gonna to need to cover a couple of basics and that's what this video is all about. So number one, just a little guitar architecture. Um, again, skip ahead if this is uh, not news to you, but six strings on the guitar. Uh, e, A, D, G, B, E. Eddie ate dynamite, goodbye Eddie. One more time, Eddie ate dynamite, goodbye Eddie. E, A, D, G, B, E. You'll never forget it. Here are the frets. The frets are literally these pieces of metal wire, but when we say we're gonna play on the first fret, you're gonna push down inside this space. First fret, second fret, third fret, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Okay. Finger numbers. We skip our thumb. One, two, three, four. So with every song in this class, there's a PDF that comes with it. If you look at that PDF, um, our first song, for instance, is Folsom Prison Blues by Johnny Cash. That, video, that PDF is attached to this video and that first video as well. Open that up and you'll see some chord diagrams at the very top. You'll see the dots, which is where you push your fingers, but you'll also see numbers inside those dots. Those, those are the finger numbers that you should use. So if you see first finger, the number one inside the dot, first finger, first fret, G string, E, A, D, G. That's where you're gonna push that first finger is right there. Okay, so chord diagrams are the first thing you'll see on the PDF. Then you'll see a strumming pattern for the beginner section, which is the first page. We try and use simple chord forms and simple strumming patterns. Oftentimes you're just gonna be strumming a downstroke, which is a down arrow on beat number one, and you're gonna fill the measure with one chord. That's plenty to get started because you're gonna need time to switch between chords and you're trying to sing and play at the same time. Um, you'll see down arrows and up arrows. If you go to the last page, you'll see more advanced chord forms and strumming patterns. So you'll start to get into down and up arrows, down strokes and up strokes. All of those strumming patterns will get covered in the videos that you're gonna find them in. So, um, We've got chord diagrams, strumming patterns. Finally, we have our chord words, our lyrics with words in bold and the chords above them. This is one more connection to show you not only the strumming pattern and the count, but how those chords relate to the lyrics. So as you're singing, if you know the key words that you're shooting for, that's where you're gonna match up your chord strums with your lyrics. So throughout each video for the songs, we're going to be covering each of those sections one by one. The chords, and we'll talk about how to practice the chords, some tips for making them work for you, the strumming patterns, and the chord words, the lyrics with the chords matching. Now let's talk about some tools that you're gonna to need to set up a practice routine for yourself. Really just three things a tuner, a timer, and a metronome. For a tuner, you might already have some kind of a clip-on tuner. Snark makes a really good clip-on tuner. Um, I am going to recommend Guitar Tuna. It is an app. Just about all of us have a smartphone. 
and this tuner is kind of the only tuner I really recommend anymore. Um, guitar tuner is just very intuitive to use and it's very easy to see where you are, too low or too high. I recommend leaving it set to auto. You can tap the individual uh, string names and you can hear what that string sounds like. You just gotta remember that if you move on to another string, you either need to tap auto again or you need to tap that next string. Otherwise, it doesn't know what it's listening for. So that's one place where folks get stuck. So guitar tuna is gonna be your tuner. Next, check out Tempo. This is another free app. Tempo is a simple metronome and I'll just direct you to a couple of spots. On the bottom, there's the word tap. If you tap on the word tap in time, you get to tap out your tempo. You can also use the plus and minus keys to, uh, to change your tempo that way. And then you've got this 4-4 four, four, bottom left. You can change that to 3-4, four, 4-4, four, four, or any time signature you want. You're probably just gonna be messing around in four and three. And then this uh, quarter note bottom right that is your subdivision. So you can hear eighth notes on the beat. You can hear quarter notes. I would recommend leaving that right where it is on a quarter note. Last but not least, a timer. Again, use the, uh, use the timer on your smartphone. Feel free to use an analog timer if you have one. But uh, why a timer? Because when you're practicing, doing something for five minutes straight is huge. Doing something for one minute straight actually feels like a long time when you set a timer. So when I say spend five minutes um, doing an exercise like tap your knee, which we'll cover in our first song video, um, setting a timer for five minutes and working on one chord or the transition from one chord to another, that's a very long time to be practicing one thing. So use your timer and um, that is a really clear way of measuring your, your practice routine. Um, as far as metronomes go, one last point on that, if you happen to have a digital keyboard at home, a lot of people do, there is often a metronome built into that or a drum beat that you can trigger and um, change the tempo for. That would serve the same purpose. So you can play along with that drum beat or that keyboard metronome as well. So to recap, you've got uh, your PDFs, which you'll always be referencing for every song. On that PDF, you'll see a chord diagram, a strumming pattern, and your lyrics with the chord words in it. And you're gonna get yourself three tools before you start really digging into this course. You're gonna have your tuner, your timer, and your metronome. That's it. Go gather those tools, get yourself tuned up, and I'll see you in the first video for Folsom Prison Blues.